Alright folks, this is Jack Newtown here, and we are live on the broadcast, making sure I'm in here. Let me double check this thing. Let me double check this situation. Here we go. Okay, oh, there we go. There it is. Okay. This is Jack Newtown. Uh, today is May 22nd, 2022. It is, of course, 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Hope everyone is having a good day so far but we got some uh, very disturbing and sad sick and angry news uh let me uh let me do something right here give me a second no that's not it let's do this right here one second, hold on. Make sure uh, my mic is up here close by where you can hear me a little bit better. But we got some news here. I know some of you already know what happened or the situation happened in Buffalo, New York last week to which an 18-year-old by the name of Peyton Jordan went into a top supermarket store in a predominantly black area of Buffalo, New York. And he, in his mind, felt like black people need to die that day. So he went in there with his assault rifle, body armor, and he fired open fire on 10 black people, killed all 10 blacks. The 11th person was a Caucasian and he held fire on the Caucasian because he was white. He says, oh, oh, I'm sorry, you're, you're white. I'm not here to shoot you. And then went turned around and shot another black. So this man has killed 10 black people. 10 black people he has killed. This man right here, this guy right here, slaughtered 10 black people. And there he is right there, being hauled into the jail. It's images of him right here. And he got this ideology from the likes of someone like this, Dr. David Duke. And these type of people that still run around here. Even though America is trying to fight terrorism abroad, but yet they still have an issue with fighting terrorism inside, internally. Hold on one second. Sorry, I know I started a little bit early and I know some people like, oh, I'm off, I'm off. That's okay. I, I apologize for being early. That's why I rescheduled it about three hours earlier to make sure it, the notification gets back on there again. But I guess not everyone got the notification and that's absolutely fine. Uh, but we still have a white supremacist issue in this country. We still got these races who do not like anyone but themselves to exist in this country. But last time I checked, the Native Americans, the Central Americans, the Mayans, the Aztecs, even some of the Africans were already here before the Western Europeans decided to invade this country let's just call it what it is invade this country and that's what they did now of course they didn't do it up front brutal style they slowly integrated in learn the language of the people because the people over here were speaking hebrew and end up committing a coup against 
the people who were on this land before they even existed, before Christopher Columbus even came in the picture. And they are dealing with a great replacement theory. Yes, a great replacement theory. What's going on, Donna? In which, excuse me, in which white people feel that they're being dispossessed by other nationalities, by the Hispanics, by the Blacks, by the Asians, by, of course, the Natives. Well, the Natives are already here first. Y'all replaced them. So now you're being replaced. So how do you expect this to, to happen? You reap what you sow. You came on this land. You did it by deception. You did it by wickedness. And you destroyed almost 100 million Native American people. And you think for one minute, the All Father is going to forget about the slaughter that you have done to almost a nearly 100 million Native Americans. Of course not. Of course not. All you're doing is speeding up the process of being put to death. So now all of a sudden you're being replaced. You are in fear. The same fear that the Native Americans were dealing with. They was in fear of being replaced. And y'all was doing it by force. So they fought back. And they actually had y'all until they hired the Blacks. And then when they hired the former slaves to fight off the Native Americans, unfortunately, some of our people went against the our fellow relatives, the Native Americans, which they did. They went against them and end up winning over their own uh, relatives, their own uh, distant relatives. Okay. But we still got the short end of the stick. They were called the Buffalo Soldiers. That's what they were called. And so now we're still dealing with the situation even though this country is predominantly uh, white and the politics and the laws and the legal system are predominantly in the favor of white people. But there's still a small, well, a certain amount of white people feel that that's not enough. Even though they're in power, even though that they're in privilege, even though that they're first, even though uh, they get first favors over every other nationality they get the first choice and you got some that feel like oh we're losing because they look at interracial relationships they look at white women black men black women white men white men asian women white women asian man hispanic man native man Arab man, pretty much any man or woman except for the off. And then you have the issue with abortion. Now, let's be honest. Part of the reason why some of these pro-lifers, not all of them, but you know who you are. The reason you are a pro-pro-lifer is because you don't want your numbers to decrease. Now, of course, you don't care about the blacks, the Mexicans, the Hispanics, the Puerto Ricos, the Dominicanos the natives, uh, the Arabs, the Asians. You, you don't care about their babies dying. Oh, no. Well, actually, let me take that back. Some of you care about the, the Asian girls not dying. You know, some of you predators out there, you little uh, child molestos out there who uh, prey upon young children. You know, the ones who go way out of their way to go to China and adopt a child. Chinese baby girl and grown up like Woody Allen did. But yet, we got plenty of children in this society, in the country, United States of America, that needed adoption. But yet, you will bypass the children in America that needs a good home, some decent parents, okay? You will bypass that to get a Asian baby girl is called the Woody Allen effect. 
is called the Woody, Woody Allen effect. And sometimes you got to watch some of these people who adopt these children and they specifically get a certain particular race. Sometimes they may be the predators. Sometimes they're getting children for they sick fetish, fetishes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So you got to watch out for that. So Peyton Gurdon, this 18-year-old demonic Satanist. Let's go ahead and uh, pull up the news article. Let's go ahead and get that thing started. Just don't want to be running my mouth all day. I'm not going to do this all night. I'm just going to show, hit the news and keep it moving. Okay, here we go. All right, and of course, I hope everyone is able to, to well, let me quote them. That'd be, they'll help right there. There we go. They'll help. Now, let me go ahead and uh, let me cut this clip forward. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and put the link out here just in case somebody want to jump up on here and uh, ask questions. And like I said, um, when you hop up on here, I prefer you to have your clothes on. I prefer you uh, to be in order. I prefer you not to be an idiot when you get up on here. Um, know what you're talking about. Let's, let's not jump on other subjects. Let's stick on this particular subject. I know when some people jump on here, They'll jump on another subject that has absolutely nothing to do with this subject. Please do not do that. When you, If you want to get on here, you want to talk, please deal with the subject at hand. I greatly appreciate that. I greatly appreciate y'all hitting the like button. Hit the thumbs up. You can, Hell, you can hit the thumbs down. I don't give a damn. Just You can hit either or. And you share this. Of course, please subscribe to the Real Jack Newtown broadcast. Okay. But let's go on and continue. What's going on, realist? 15 people joined Buffalo shooting suspect Peyton Jenden's private chat shortly before massacre. Isn't that something? 15 people accepted a vow white supremacist. Yes, white supremacist. Peyton Jordan's invitation to a private chat room. Chilling, let me do this, do this here. There we go. Here we go. Let me. Here we go. Ah, uh, da 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 happening this is not a drill where he allegedly spent months meticulously planning his attack in buffalo that killed 10 people the 18 year old invited people on the discord app 30 minutes before the massacre now the question is who are these people that were invited to this app discord to watch this whole thing fall apart that's a question that needs to be asked. Who was in the chats? And should the FBI also investigate these people who were fellow supporters of this racist devil by the name of Peyton Jenden? Jern, Jernden, whatever the hell your name is. Peyton Devil, Peyton the Demon. How about that? Peyton the Demon. The chat room included months of posts written by author who identified himself as Jenden. Jordan, Jinden, Jinron, Jinron, described his twisted views and outlining how he scouted the top friendly markets in a crazed plan to kill as many black people as possible. Now, now, he talked about this for months, about scouting the top friendly market, and not one of these people who were on his chat alerted the police and say, hold on, man, this is going too far. I can understand you don't like black people. But if you're going to say you're going to go to this particular store and say you're going to do A, B, and C, I'm going to alert the police because I don't want nobody dying and your ass need to be locked up. But that wasn't the case because those same 15 people are rooting and cheering and supporting and may have financed this white supremacist destructive actions, demonic actions. And please don't tell me that he is not a white supremacist. He is definitely a white supremacist. Let's not play that game. Let's not say, oh, he's just mentally ill. No, he is a devil. He is a white supremacist devil. He comes from an affluent, upper middle class family. He has two parents, okay, in the home. 
both of them work for the New York Department of Transportation as engineers, all right? And they make over a quarter of a million dollars a year, okay? The motherfucker is not a trailer park trash like Dylan Roof, okay? Dylan Roof was trailer park trash, okay? Dylan Roof was, was bottom of the barrel. This boy is upper crust region. This upper crust region decided to kill 10 black people, even though he had more pillages than they are put together. All right, the person with the knowledge of this core internal investigation told the network that the invitees and other whom with the, whom they may have shared access would have been able to view his post before the massacre. The Watch reports reported that 15 people had accepted the invitation site the person with knowledge of the message by from both. A copy of the invite reviewed by the paper said that the accepted users could also view a video stream of the shooting through a link on the account on Twitch, a video stream search which Gendron allegedly broadcast video of this attack. It is unclear where Discord can determine exactly what the 15 users did after they accepted the invitation was doing the paper. Uh, I think they need to be brought in and be investigated and probably be arrested for a uh, conspiracy or being complicit because if you knew a crime was going to happen and you did not alert the police or the authorities, you are complicit. That is called conspiracy. All right, there he is right there. There's the demon right there, straight out of the gates of hell. Um, um, you know, strange, sadly, they didn't shoot him. Sadly, they didn't beat him. Sadly, they didn't kill him. I mean, I, I mean that would have been the preferred method, but whatever. And then there are these wonderful people uh, who have died. Um, Aaron Dalton Jr., who's the security officer who would have first approached him, confronted him, and shot, uh, assault the shot of... Um, Jen Dunn, but Jen Dunn had body armor, so he responded by shooting him and killed him. Gurleen Talley was killed. This is Catherine Massey, Mr. Andre McNeil. This is Roberta A. Dury, which she is biracial, but they don't care. As long as you got black in, you consider black in this society. Mr. Marcus D. Morrison, Mrs. Celestine Cheney, Mrs. Pearly Young, Mrs. Ruth. Uh, Get her name. I'm sorry. I apologize. She, she she's in a way, unfortunately. Um. Uh. Let's scroll down. Let's see if we can get we can actually get all those names. Uh. Let's see. Now, here's the question, people. Why didn't Discord report the police? Okay, they faked it. He is innocent. Oh, could somebody please block this individual? Someone please block this individual. Could someone please block 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 Frank Bochman? Could someone please block this bastard? Send him send him straight to hell. How about that? Send him straight to hell. Please. I I, I don't want to hear that just kidding crap. Nope, nope, you gotta go. You gotta go. Uh Donna, could you just block this gentleman? Let me, let me go on here then. Let me get on here. No, I ain't trying to hear that. Oh, I'm not trying to hear that. I'm not trying to hear that. Go ahead and block me, Donald, if you're there. Let me uh let me go on my let me get on my own channel. Let me, hold on. Let me do it since we got some delay since we uh, Hold on, let me. Okay, you did. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, let me pull this out. Okay, that's good. Thank you, thank you, Don. Thank you, thank you. Um, I, I don't want to hear from Frank. I, Frank, Frank, I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear you. Anybody come up with that foolishness, uh, just block them. Don't even entertain them. Don't respond to them. Don't even interact with them. Don't even uh, try to reason with people like that. I don't care if it's funny or not. Just get rid of them, please. Just, just get rid of them and just be gone. Dumb. But here's the demon right here. You know, it's funny that they haven't beat him up. They didn't shoot him. They didn't kill him, unfortunately. They didn't cut his nuts off, unfortunately. Um, they didn't do anything to him. They pretty much just handled him nicely. Now, trust me, what if it was a black supremacist? 
that went around shooting and killing white people. Here come the police. You don't think the police gonna, gonna sit up there talking about freeze? Hell no. The only time they, they gonna say boom, 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 and then freeze, and then put the handcuffs on you when you're laying out there because they think you're a zombie. Serious business. Thousands of entries in the chat amounted to a months long online diary, which later shared more widely on 4chan online messenger than Jun Run said fostered his racist extremism. Look, I, I started, you know what, in this situation, I think Discord might be on the hook for this one too. Because Discord should allow these things. Charles B. said, did he get shot by a black policeman who died? Yes. Yes. But but the kid had body armor. The kid had body armor. So, yeah. Yeah, the security officer confronted him. Because he had a gun and he was ready to start shooting. And the security officer approached him and confronted him. So, yeah. Uh, if he didn't have that body armor, the, the journey character would have been dead. And that and he would have he would have did a great job. But unfortunately, he... He did the center mass technique instead of aiming for the head. Shoot aim for the head. Um, 4chan. And of course, he used diary to describe how he stabbed and beheaded a feral cat at his home in Conklin, New York, which he posted a photo of his blood splattered face. So this boy was already the devil. He posted a picture of him beheading a cat. What people do that? Okay. Charles B said, and if it's true that he is innocent because they faked everything, okay, block him. Block him. Block him. Don't welcome him. Just block the guy. This, uh. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's get him. Block him. Now, again, y'all come with that foolishness, you're getting blocked. You're getting blocked. No ear fans or bust about it. You're getting blocked. It seems like we got the craziest coming in here. That's okay. That's all right. You bring you bring crazy behind here, we're going to block you. No questions asked. All right, General has pleaded not guilty to one count of murder. One count of murder? Ain't one count of murder, sir. That's 10 counts of murder. You mean 10 counts of murder, not one count of murder. That doesn't make any sense. Who the hell wrote this? It's 10 counts of murder, not one count of murder. Okay, he got murder charges. It won't one count of murder. It's 10 counts of murder, people. But whoever wrote this, let me let me pull, let me pull you up. Uh your Ron Steinbuck, you need to get on your uh on your proofreading work because you suck. It's more than one count, sir. Not one. You need to get that right. In the deadly shooting of Buffalo a City, 200 miles from this small, mostly white hometown. He is accused of shooting 13 people in total during his rampage, which he live streamed on Twitch while wearing military-style tactical gear. On Thursday, Judge Craig Hanna remanded him into custody and adjourned here at the grand jury indictment on the murder charges. And of course, that's the family. That's uh, Reverend Al Sharpton. That is uh, Attorney Benjamin Crump. Okay, the, the usual people that come, you know, when it comes to you know, social justice. Uh, the Erie County District Attorney also declined comment pending for rash from the grand jurors could come up with a form of upgraded domestic extremes and hate crime charges. 11 of the victims were black while two were white, authorities said. On Wednesday, New York Attorney General Leticia James said her office would investigate Discord, Twitch, 4chan, and other platforms that the shooter used to amplify the rampage. That's what I'm saying. Discord and Twitch, Jeff Bezos. And 4chan, watch out. Uh, my office launched an investigation to a social media company that the Buffalo shooter used to plan, promote, and stream his terror attack. So the moderators on Discord cannot even sit there. Okay. 
they cannot even sit there and say alert the police hello somebody's writing something uh planning to kill a bunch of people and the discord moderators can't sit there and alert the police and form an investigation and you see why people like elon musk is buying twitter because people like y'all behind the scenes aren't doing your job that's why you allow this to go down but if somebody talks about the lgbtq rustp are you uh xwyz then all of a sudden you're going to be investigated all of a sudden you're going to be banned for life or if you're against the uh the virus or the virus uh serum okay the virus serum then you're blocked then you're destroyed then you're smeared then you're hater then you're racist because you don't believe in the the serum right you don't believe in the serum you don't believe in the virus now all of a sudden it's a problem all oh, disinformation oh you're getting flagged all oh, uh, copyright material but this guy plotted to kill black people in the supermarket but no red flags there nobody's investigating nobody's calling the police right Oh yeah, real estate white folk is coming to the aid of a white man that murdered some black folk. Well, that's what it seems like because you, you got those that sat there and knew this guy was going to plan and do it and allowed it to happen. Didn't call the police. Didn't contact the FBI. Nothing. They didn't do none of that whatsoever. Let's get to Okay, I think. Okay, that's it. All right. All right, there. Okay, let me uh, got another another video right here. Another video right here. Uh, hold on, let me do this first. Here we go. Here we go. Now I'm gonna show you something right here. This is where this guy's this this boy's ideology came into play. Uh, I'm on the ADL. Anti-Defamation League. The Great Replacement and Explainer. Here we go. This is where this uh, boy's ideology came from. Here we go. The Great Replacement Theorem. Once largely regulated, rele relegated to white supremacist rhetoric, the Great Replacement has made its way to mainstream consciousness in the past several years from the chance of Jews will not replace us on the University of Virginia campus to then United States Representative Steve King's tweet protest, we can't restore our civilization with somebody else's, else's babies. To Fox News' Tucker Carlson's complaints that the Democrat Party is attempting to replace the current electorate with third world voters, the racist conspiracy theory has well and truly arrived now. Tucker and Stephen King, weren't y'all the same race that replaced the Native Americans, the Central Americans, as well as the Mayans and the Africans that were already here before Christopher Columbus. But now you starting to feel that those same people that you replaced on their land are coming back to replace you. How ironic. The following provides an introduction to the Great Replacement, where it began how it feeds into white supremacist grievances and which mainstream personalities have used it to score points and signal, not so subtly, their nativitist point of view. Uh, the Great Replacement Theory has its roots in the early 20th century French nationalism and books by French nationalist and author Maurice Barrers. However, it was French writer and critic Renaud Comals who popularized the phrase for today's audience when he published an essay titled Le Grand Replacement or The Great Replacement in 2011. Kamas himself alluded to the Great Replacement Theory in his early works and was apparently influenced by Jean Rospitiol's racist novel The Camp of the Saints. Kamas believes that native white Europeans are being replaced in their countries by non-white immigrants from Africa and the Middle East and the end result will be the extension of the wide race. Kamal's focus on Muslim immigration to Europe and the theory that Muslim and non-white populations had a much higher birth rate than whites. His initial concept did not focus on Jews, 
uh, and was not anti-Semitic, of course, because he was being slick like the devil. The great replacement philosophy was quickly adopted and promoted by the white supremacist movement as it fit into their conspiracy theory about impeding destruction of the white race, as known as white genocide. It is also a strong echo of white supremacist rally cry the 14 words, we must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. That is the 14 words. Since many white supremacists, particularly those in the United States, blame Jews for non-white immigration to the U.S., the replacement theory is now associated with anti-Semitism. The night before August 2017, the Unite the Right rally, white supremacists marching across the University of Virginia campus shouted, Jews will not replace us and you will not replace us, clear reference to Kamal's theory. Uh, in October 2018, white supremacist Robert Bowers killed 11 people at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, after writing a gap post blaming Jews for bringing non-white immigrants and refugees to the U.S. And March now, before then, in 2014, Dalai Ruth killed nine blacks uh, at a church in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, so I don't know if he read that one as well, maybe so, maybe not, but Hitler like stuff, whatever. March 2019, white supremacist Britton Tarrant live streamed himself killing 51 people at two mosques in New Zealand. Tarrant was also released, released a manifesto online called The Great Replacement in homage to Kamal's work. In April 2019, white supremacist John Ernest killed one and injured three at a synagogue in Poway, California. In a letter he released online, Ernest claimed that Jews were responsible for the genocide of white Europeans inside the influence of Bowers and Tarrant. In August 2019, white supremacist Patrick Carusis opened fire at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas, killing 23 people and wounded almost two dozen. Manifesto Carusis talked about Hispanic invasion and made reference to the Great Place. Basically, killed uh, Hispanic people. He was killing Mexicans over there in El Paso. May 2022, white supremacist Peyton Gendron allegedly murdered, allegedly, no, he actually did murder 10 people. Don't put allegedly, damn it, he actually killed 10 people. And wounded three more at a supermarket in Buffalo, New York. The shooter who drove 200 miles to target a, a black community repeatedly cited and prompt, promoted the great replacement in his online writings and his motivation for his rampage in December 2021. He posts the great replacement theory is real at this current rate. Whites will be the minority. This is white genocide. Now, of course, let's use an example of being used by politicians. Uh, April 2019, Heinz Christian Stalk campaign for the Freedom Party of Austria ahead of the 2019 European Parliament election endorsed the great replacement theory, the ideatarian movement, a white nationalist movement in Europe has promoted the great replacement theory. Martin Selden, head of Gener Generation Idea Terror in Austria, is a particularly vo vocal promoter. Now, for those black folks who feel like, oh, America is such a racist country, I'll move the year. Well, guess what? Europe is just as racist as America. That's actually probably more racist because they're the ones that came up with these ideologies. Uh, let's continue. Maria Le Pen, a far-right French politician, also promoted the idea of the great replacement. That is a female politician, for those who know about that. March 2017, then-GOP Congressman Steve King tweeted his supporters for Gert Wilders, a well-known anti-immigration activist from Europe. Wilders understands that culture and demographics are our destiny, the Congressman wrote. We can't restore our civilization with somebody else's babies. The tweet, which won praise from white supremacists, was a clear reference to the replacement theory. In August 2018, King gave an interview to a far-right magazine in Austria, which he promoted the great replacement theory. In an interview on Fox News Justice with Judge Jeannie in 20, July 2020, GDP Congressman Matt Gates, you know, the one who got caught with an underage girl, prostitution, underage girl in Florida. Yeah, you still beating with, sir? Yes, you're messing with little girls. Claimed that an attempted cultural genocide was occurring in the U.S. and that the left wanted to replace America. Well, Matt Gates, sir, uh, why are you living in Florida when the Florida's predominantly Cuban or Hispanic or people of color? Yeah. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but you know, uh, July 2017, Lauren Southern, a Canadian far right activist, released a video titled The Great Replacement, 
promoting Kamas, Kamas themes that Summer Sutter was involved in defund, defend Europe, project led by European white nationalists to block their rival, both scared African immigrants, Sutter's video for the populist Kamas theory. October 2018, on Fox News, the Inger Engel host Laura Engel said your views on immigration will have zero impact and zero influence on the House dominated by Democrats who want to replace you, the American boys, with newly amnitized citizens and ever increasing up a chain migrants. Now, I will say this. Now, I will say this. Now, yes, the demo clans and the Repub Redneckans, but the demo clans are using votes from illegal immigrants. That's true. That's right. Now, I don't know what the motive is. I think the motive is to stay in the power. I don't think it's more or less to replace white people. I think it's more of to withhold, to maintain power over politics. I think that's the Democrats' angle. I don't think it's more of to replace white people with these people because then the Democrats would be replacing themselves if that was the case. And you know how that goes. Uh, October 2019, Janine Pirro was discussing Democrats' hatred of Trump on Fox Nation, the Todd Starnes show. She declared, think about it, it's a plot to remake America to replace American citizens with illegals that will vote for the Democrats. Now, let now hold on now, Janine. Let's, let's, and for someone like you, Janine, who is Lebanese, you are an immigrant your damn self. Let's get that straight, number one. Uh, number two. Wasn't the same thing that happened back in the 1900s when you have European immigrants who came mostly came here illegally from Ellis and Angel Island from all over the predominantly European nations coming in by the boatloads that the government gave land grants, that the government gave checks, that the government gave interest free loans to them, gave them land gave them agriculture, school, training, and education. Ain't this the same thing that Martin Luther King Jr. was talking about? That about the government was giving them money, giving them this, and then Martin Luther King said to the people, where is our check? Because when we come to Washington, D.C., we, we're coming to get our check. And unfortunately, Martin Luther King was assassinated after a few weeks later. Yeah. So, when... Janine, ma'am, Miss Lebanese, Miss Arab, okay, Miss Arab, you know the one that spied on her on her husband, did, did things illegally to blackmail her husband, <clears throat> that Janine Pirro. Ma'am, the same thing happened when the Europeans came here by the boatloads. They all voted Democrat because the Democrat says we'll give we'll give you checks, we'll give you land, we'll give you money, we'll give you education. All you gotta do is just bring your ass over here. That's what happened. You look that up. I don't, hey, you don't gotta believe me. Look at the paperwork. Check the paperwork. Check the paperwork. Please do. Please check the paperwork. I'm not. This is not racism. This is true. Check the paperwork. So if the Democrats did that back in the 1900s, what makes you think they won't be doing it now? You know, the same Democrats that in, uh, imposed Jim Crow laws. You know, the same Democrats that found the Ku Klux Klan. You know, the same Democrats that, that funded and supported the Confederacy. Yeah, those same Democrats, they still the same. They just kind of switched up their, their politics and kind of blended in. But it's still the same narrative. Still is, and the Republicans is just the White Justice League. Let's just keep it a buck. Like I said, this is not hate. This is not racism. This is the truth. I know some people are going to get mad. That's okay. It's all right. You know, the truth hurts. That's why they killed Jesus. Uh, April 2021, on Turkey Cross of the Night, the host explicitly promoted a great place of theory. Carlson discussed third world immigrants coming to the U.S. who affiliate with the Democrat Party. Now, number one, Tucker Carlson, there are parts in this country, the United States of America, that look like third world countries. I can take you somewhere in my area a few miles away and play hell up around the corner, actually. It looks like a third world country over there. But guess who's, who's living in that third world condition? White people. Yeah. 
Here, sir, I know that the left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement, if you just that the Democrat Party is trying to replace the current electorate. The votes now cast the ballots for new people, more obedient voters from the third world, but they will become hysterical because that's what's happened to Ashley. Let's just say that's true. Yeah, you're right, Tucker. But guess what? They happened the same time in the 1900s with Ellis and Andrew Oliver with, with your European people coming in by the droves, promise of land, education, and money. All they got to do is just show up and increase the numbers. Because remember, before the Angel Ellis Island thing, uh, there was a two to one blacks over whites because there was more black slaves than white people living in this country back then. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, April 11, 2021, Andrew Torber, the founder of Gab, posted his own platform. Now, today, the ADL is trying to counsel Tucker Carson for daring to speak the truth about the reality demographic replacement that is absolutely unequivocally going on in the West. There are not hateful statements. These objective facts can no longer be ignored. Of course, I mean, that that is true. But at the same time, okay, at the same time, you reap what you sow. You have done this to people in this country with the Native Americans as well as the Mayans and the Aztecs and the Incas and the Africans who were already here before Columbus. And so now it's coming back full circle. I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you, but it's coming back full circle. It is. It's coming back full circle. And it's not my fault. Blame God. Blame the Lord for this. You blame the Lord. Don't blame Jack Newtown. You blame the Lord for this. I ain't hey, look. I, I ain't got no power like that. The Lord, the Lord has the power. Lord, Lord has the exclusive power. He has the power. The All Father has the power. Shoot, don't y'all ever forget that. If you do, you the devil too. Let's uh, let's keep it moving. Uh, let's go here. All right, here we go. From the Washington Post, you know, Jeff Bezos owns this uh, newspaper company, Jeff, Jeff Bezos, shout out Amazon. You know, that's where I get a lot of my products from. Shout out to Amazon, shout out to Jeff Bezos. You know, you sort of be, be back in position number one because Elon Musk, they coming after him like right on the rice. But uh, Buffalo shooting suspect wrote plan, uh, plans five months ago. Next to the show. Peyton Genron, the 18-year-old accused of, hold on, let me zoom this up a little bit more. Here we go. 18-year-old accused of killing 10 people at a supermarket in Buffalo on Saturday, wrote an increasingly detail of his plans to murder dozens of black people in the state of post online over the past five months, according to a complaint of messages by a writer who identified himself in Genron. A review of more than 600 pages of messages by the Washington Post found that Genron Resolved in December to kill those he slurred as replacers and decided in February to target Buffalo's Topps grocery store based on his local African-American population. In March, he performed a reconnaissance-style trip to monitor the store's security and map out its aisles, the message showed. When a store guard confronted him about why he had repeatedly entered that day, Jen Ron made excuses and fled in what he described as a close call to Memphis estate. So the store guard actually confronted this man and was asking him why he had repeatedly entered that day, that he kept coming in and coming out without buying anything. Having identified the supermarket as attack one area, Jen Ron detailed two additional Buffalo location areas to which to shoot all blacks According to the message, which show that he had charted routes to each location, worked out the times needed for each shootout, and assessed more than three dozen people in all could be fatally shot. Now, the question is, if he want to shoot a whole bunch of black people, uh, why didn't he go to Harlem? Why didn't he go to the Bronx? Why didn't he go to LES? Why didn't he go to Brooklyn? Why did he go to those places? Huh? You know why he didn't want to go to those places? He didn't go to Queens Bridge. You know why he didn't want to go there? Because he would have been chopped up like Swiss cheese. He would have never made it out alive. He would have never made it out alive. He'll have blood all over his thighs. While that gun fucking in the booty. All right, let's continue. 
Police confirmed Monday that they suspected Jenron had intended to attack multiple locations. Also Monday, FBI the director, Christopher A. Way, said in a call with various law enforcement officials and communities, I want to be clear for my part from everything we know, this was a target attack, a hate crime, and an act of racially motivated violent extremists. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, let's see. As we begin this new week, our community continues to grieve and heal. Uh, we are a strong community. We are rallying around one another, and we will continue to move forward as a strong city of Buffalo, county of Erie, and western New York region. Uh, late today, we have been made aware of many social media posts going around with possible threats. I want to be clear. Buffalo Police and our partnering law enforcement agencies standing here are investigating these social media posts and will prosecute if necessary. And I want to emphasize arrests have already been made and you'll be here hearing more about those. There's a lot of chatter out there. There is a lot of threats out there that I'm hearing about and that we're hearing about in law enforcement. One of those threats happened yesterday. 52 year old man from Buffalo yesterday, allegedly, and again, allegedly, uh, called up a pizzeria at 2 p.m. and made threatening comments to the employee referencing what happened at Tops. 45 minutes later, allegedly, that same individual called up a brewery in downtown Buffalo and made similar threatening comments, again, alluding to what happened at Tops. The pizzeria and the brewery called BPD. As usual, BPD did a great job, found out who this guy was, went and arrested him last night. We held him last night because it was a D felony and under the New York state bail laws, we can hold someone overnight for a D felony, which we did. We held him overnight and we arraigned him this morning on a D felony, making a terrorist threat, facing up to seven years in jail. This is what's gonna happen if you make threats. You are going to get arrested and then I am going to prosecute you. So let, let this case send a message out there to any tough guy or anyone who wants to be cute out there and sending messages or threatening anyone or threatening to do anyone or putting anything on social media. I will find you and I will arrest you and I will prosecute you. And I, I didn't mean to speak for Trini, but so will she. All righty then. All right. Okay. All right. Just trust you. You know, Jordan from Conklin, New York, has pleaded not guilty to first degree murder in relation to the attacks on Saturday. Three other people were also injured. Program was arrested at the grocery store. Shooting was streamed live online. A separate 180 page document published two days before Saturday shooting. Gurdon cited a racist theory that non-whites, which is the replacement theory, were brought to the United States to place white people for political purposes. Even though y'all was brought here to replace people for political purposes back in 1900s. Okay. Uh, the 672-page compilation of message reviewed by the Post was published during the weeks before the attack in Buffalo. The message feature a screen named that Genron used on other platforms contained images of Genron's face and selfies of reference. Events in his personal life, such as a speeding ticket, which was verified. Um, okay, let's go down here. There he is. Mid November, according to Messenger, General Ron posted a Discord a copy of the document published by Britain Tehran and about racists who killed 51 Muslims and attacks of two mosques in New Zealand in 2019. Separately, General claims authorship of anonymous 
November 9th, posted a fourth chance match to cite the Taurus for extreme discussions, which says Britain, a Britain Terry event will happen again soon. Uh, and he said then that nobody else didn't think it was a red flag to call the police or investigate. Yeah, after he posted claims of prayer about the inferior racist, the message so general wrote December 5th, they decided it was time to stop simply posting on the internet and to act. I will carry out an attack against the replacers and will even live stream the attack he wrote. But looks like Discord, mm, 4chan, mm, they didn't care. Around that time, according to Messi, brought a Mossberg 500 shotgun. So he bought, around that time, a Mossberg 500 shotgun. Now, hold on. Now, here's my question. Now, he has a record of mental, uh, so-called have mental issues, and he was able to buy a Mossberg 500 shotgun. I wonder what store that allowed him to purchase this or did his dad purchase it for him? He already owned a hunting rifle that received as a Christmas present from his father when he was 16, according to Messi's effort to reach Gurren's parents were unsuccessful. Now, that does not mean you stop buying hunting rifles for your kids. I mean, that's that's just tradition. I mean, look, I had a, I had a gun when I was eight, nine years old. So, I mean, I ain't shot and killed nobody. Journalists recounted making frequent trips to gun stores and messages, uh, recording at least 15 visits across six stores between December 8th and January 19th. He hid weapons and ammunition in his bedroom at his parents' home, recorded messages and fear at one point that his mother might discover a stockpile jeopardizing his plans. According to the messages, the store owner, Jordan, bought a Bushmaster XM-15 rifle, Type gun they allegedly used in Buffalo on Saturday for the Vengeance Firearms in Endicott, New York in January. Now, of course, uh, a person that's 18 and over can purchase a rifle. They just can't purchase a handgun. You've got to be 21. The owner of Vengeance Firearms, 75-year-old Robert Donald, confirmed New York Times ABC on Sunday that he sold the Bushmaster to Degenera. He said at a background check, raised no flags, and at the age of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms visited, visited the shop, an old one-room house on Saturday night to collect paperwork from the sale. The message detail during the personal other equipment he planned to use in the attack include military-style helmet from eBay, eBay, and body armor plates bought online from RMA arraignment of Centerville, Iowa. Now, number one, that's why you need to be an FFL dealer in order to purchase body armor. I mean, that's just my opinion. Confirming General's purchase, RMA Chief Executive Blake Walter said the statement that the firm was devastated by the tragedy was spread for the families of the victims. Okay, how about change your policies? Having considered attacking other cities, who Rochester Journal wrote online in February 17 that he had a new plan. Buffalo, which had a higher proportion of black residents. Top friendly mark, he wrote, damn, that is looking good. The message detailed on the March 8th trip to the supermarket, which Jerno Lynch surveilled the moment the store security guards had made observations of the weapons they carried. Details sketches of the store full plan were included in messages together with multiple photographs and cool in a parking spot for the attack. The written account said the author is stopping ticket for a drive. No, 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 okay. Inside the supermarket, Jerno noted that there were many blacks at the cashiers there in another location, and all 53 black people and six white people were inside the store, he wrote along with two black security guards carrying what he said said were black pistols. Journal recounted again being confronted by one of the guards after the entering the store three times that day. I see you go in and out. What are you doing? The guard asked him according to the next. Journal replied that he was collecting consensus data before making excuses and headed for his car. He wrote, adding in hindsight, that was a close call. Authority said security guard fired at the shooter during Saturday's attack in Buffalo but the suspect was protected by body armor and allegedly returned fire killing the guard. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Gormella said during the news conference Monday, the investigators have learned the suspect was in the Buffalo area early as March. Uh, General reported a message between visits to Tops that day. He suffered a panic attack while driving and crashed his car into a pole. I wish he died that day. Um, knocking off one of his side mirrors to spike the setback. However, General appeared satisfied with the trip overall. Had a nice full day experience here, bro. This, this is, is the depth, the of, depth emotion. of emotion, the depth of pain that the Whitfield family feels, that all of the families 
who have lost precious loved ones feel that so many in our community feel the hole in this family's heart and the hole in all of our hearts that can't be replaced, but things need to change. The availability of guns in this country needs to change. People spreading hate through the internet and indoctrinating people in the ways of hate needs to change. The lack of services for people with mental health issues needs to change. It says that this has gone on too long. It says it's happened too many times. It says that we need to do something about it. It says that you guys who are covering this uh, should be holding people accountable. Um, you know, you guys are all here now. Um, but what about the people who helped facilitate, uh, you know, the growth of the hate in this person? What about all of the things that, you know, the weapons that are available to him? What about all of the things that help bring this to fruition? Um, you should be poking cameras in their faces. Oh, you should be following them. Where's this guy's parents? Where's his, yes. where are these yes. people at? Eyes are gone. Huh. Eyes are not here anymore. How do they get to sleep at night and, and not be asked questions and not be held accountable? And that's what we're asking for. We're not asking for any favors. We're not asking for anything other than to be treated like human beings. Wow. That's, that's wild. 26 counter girl for his entire plan has been compromised after notes of his speeding ticket arrived at his parents' home. Uh... In the March, Gurman moves about other areas he might attack, such as majority black churches and schools. I would consider breaking into a Buffalo elementary school, but those places are locked up tight. Plus, I get a strange feeling when thinking about massacring children. So he thought about going to an elementary school, killing black kids. Ain't that something? Satan, devil. devil. Uh, Gurman flaunted the apparent lack of interest in him by law enforcement. I wonder why the FBI isn't ta tackling me right now, probably because they want it to happen. He wrote in April 28th post that included images of a shotgun and hunting rifle. And the FBI spokesperson to told the post that the Bureau was not aware of Gurney before the shooting in Buffalo. Yeah. We'll lead that to your opinion. Uh, the following being the first time in Gurney's online mess was uploaded by the file sharing platform media fired by the an anonymized account in the United States. The document was available to download until Monday morning, but was removed after the post contacted the media fire for comment. Damn. Derek LeBrand, media fire chief, was exited in the interview that the account associate document has been disabled and records from it has been preserved for law enforcement. On Thursday, a second batch of message said it's been posted to Discord, but it was also uploaded to media fire. This is where I'm going to end it. Thanks for the fun, it concluded. Two days later, a government arrived at Thompson Buffalo and opened fire. Wow. Okay, with all these comments, I'm wondering what crap they're going to put up there. Oh, uh, let's see. I mean, just people talking. All right. There. Now, you see, people, this individual, and the question is why hasn't the FBI eliminated the Ku Klux Klan? Well, the answer is that the FBI controls the Ku Klux Klan. That's why. Our federal governments continue to allow these groups to fester. They allow these groups to exist. They allow them to foster hatred, violence, murder, death towards people who may not look like them or who may not have the same religious ideologies and faith as them. They'll continue to exist among us, plot and plan and kill and destroy people who they deem inferior. 
but yet our federal, wonderful federal government cannot simply eliminate these type of people off the face of the planet. I don't want them to be moved. I want them wiped clean in bonfire. The only way these type of people are going to stop doing what they're doing is they get cleansed by fire. That's the only way. There is no mental health. There is no psychological treatment or medication that will stop this, this gratification of hatred and racism. Only fire will cleanse these people of this type of sick behavior. You want to shoot and kill somebody of another race because they are of another race. See, blacks kill when they're being attacked. Blacks kill blacks when they're being attacked by other blacks. Blacks kill when situations, when things get pushed. You know, when, when you get back into it, it's like... It's like when you when you get backed into a corner and, and how do you fight a flight? It's kind of like a, a dog. You keep beating the dog up. You keep pounding the dog up. Eventually, that dog's going to turn on you because it's tired of being abused. But this jerk, Peyton Jordan, was not abused. He was not attacked. He was beloved. He was... Jesus favorite. But yet he felt that he was being attacked, even though there's no proof of him being attacked. So he decided to take out on a group of people that had nothing to do with his personal problems. We don't make the laws here, Peyton. We don't write legislation. Your people do. So would it be best to go after your own people who are creating these policies that are bringing people you don't like here to America to replace you? Right? When you deal with a snake, you cut the head off. You cut the head of the snake and the body will follow. So why attack the body when you can go for the head? When you go for the head, then you eliminate the problem, right? No. You decide to attack a people who probably never did nothing to you, probably never bullied you in your life, probably never uh, uh, violated you in any sort of manner. I can see if you was violated by blacks, you was being abused by blacks, you was being attacked by blacks, and you the time you spot a fire back. Okay, cool. Okay, not the right thing to do, but okay, I understand. But when you sit there and you attack people who did nothing to you, who have nothing but goodness in their hearts, who were minding their own damn business, listen carefully, you felt the need to take their lives. That's what you did. You decided to take their lives. Hmm? Ten people you have taken. You have taken Aaron Salter's life. You have taken Ruth Winfield's life. You have taken Catherine Cat Massey's life. Taking Pearly Young's life, you have taken Hayward Patterson's life, you've taken Celestine Cheney's life, you have taken Roberta Durian's life, you've taken Marcus D. Morrison's life, you have taken Andre McMill's life, and you have taken Geraldine Talley's life. Now, the three people were wounded with Zaire Goodman, Jennifer Wurton, and Christopher Braden. They were, I believe, they were Caucasian people. You took 10 people's lives. That's what you did.
from taking their lives. Now let's look at the people here. And I'm going to close out. These are the people. Let's, let's zoom this in. Y'all see that? These are the people. These are the 10 people. These are the 10 people that were massacred by a racist Klansman, a white supremacist demon out the gates of hell. These people were at the store minding their business, getting food for families, for children. Modeling business, doing nothing but shopping. Ages 20 to 86. There's Celestine Cheney right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Celestine Cheney. Roberta Drury, Andre McNeil, Catherine Massey, Marcus Morrison, Hayward Patterson, Aaron Salter, who was the security guard, Geraldine Talley. Ruth Winfield, Whitfield. Pearl Young. Of course, Zyre Goodman, I think he got shot and didn't die, so he was black too. These are the people that died. They lost their life over somebody who couldn't stand their existence. You couldn't stand their existence. Let's 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 uh do this right here. Let's have a moment of silence, people. Uh let's give it about got yeah, about 15 seconds. Hold on. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to head on now. Anybody have any questions, comments, concerns, email me at jackradioshow number one at gmail.com. Got questions, comments, concerns. And I will see y'all next time. And just turn on your notifications when you subscribe to Jay New Town channel. Turn on your notifications. Turn on your notifications. So you'll know when I will be broadcasting live, especially those who are YouTubers out there. Uh, if you're a Facebooker, you, you, you'll see it. If you're a YouTuber, you should get notifications. If you're a Twitcher, well, you should know when I'm coming on. Uh, but I will see y'all next time and I'm going to leave y'all out with this. <laughs>